Hey everybody, Pass Plays PVTV. We are pumping out the power steering fluid on the 2013 uh, Mazda. And pretty simple process. Go ahead and get yourself a brake bleeder. You can get one off of Amazon, Harbor Freight, uh, AutoZone, and it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna go ahead and take the cap off your power steering fluid, run the tube over, look here. It says, doesn't say anything, this says two pump. So it's gonna create a vacuum it's going to create a vacuum that brings a liquid into here. And then we have the pump right here. And you're just going to go ahead and pump away. And I'm pumping out 100 cc's at a time. Milliliters, excuse me. And you can see that stuff is pretty dark. Should be cherry red, we'll see. On this car we're going to use Mercon uh, 5. Get it to where you want. There should be a little release right here. So if we hit the little release, that goes ahead and takes the vacuum pressure off. Go ahead and let it pour back in. All right, and then you just go ahead and unscrew this and dump this in and then put it back on and continue. This is likely the original fluid. It's looking pretty crimson, kind of a brownish tinge. And when you smell it, it doesn't smell, it smells a little burnt. So now we've reached the point where this is third, 300 that we've taken out and it's, uh, we're pumping, nothing's coming through. So basically you can see the reservoir is empty. What we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and top it off with this Mercon 5, let it run for a couple minutes, flush it. And I mean, we're getting 300 out each time. So I'm gonna do this three times because I have 900. And so that will basically go ahead and take what's in the system. And it's not going to replace all of it. The capacity is I'll look it up and put it here. But, you know, if I can replace almost a liter out of, you know, the, the, the full system that's in there, it's a lot better than leaving old stuff in there, right? Now you really see the difference when you pour in this new stuff. It is a bright cherry red that's going in there. And again, we're just going to go ahead and fill it back up to roughly our max level. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is just start the car up. Now that we've topped off the fluid with the first one, go ahead and, you know, four or five times, go ahead and just turn the steering wheel back and forth to go ahead and mix up the old fluid, the new fluid with the old fluid. All right, so this is our second refill. So we can see the color's getting better. It's got a little more of that cherry look to it and less of a, that burnt smell. So I'm in Mexico, so I'm not sure what you guys use, but here for the Mazda 2013 CX-9, it uses uh, Mercon 5 for the um, transmission and for the power steering fluid. Big difference, let's take a look. We saw that dark, dark burnt fluid from before previously. So we're seeing a big, big difference here uh, from that initial fluid that we saw that had that darkish kind of brownish tinge color to it. Let's take a look at the new color now. Actually overfilled the reservoir a little bit. And this is the fluid now. I can see just that tinge. So it's mostly the cherry. But I'm going to go ahead and save this right here because, you know, the fluid expands, or if I got any bubbles in there, I can go ahead and top it off with this mixture right here. And then once it's solid, toss it. Thanks for watching this uh, Pass Place PV TV how to change your power steering fluid it's really important you know for the lubrication otherwise uh, it's a nightmare to go ahead and get a power steering pump replaced or service or something like that um, some people you know they want to take the the drain and they want to dump it all at once and clear the system completely don't waste your time <laughs> you know it's just a lot of stress do it quick like this you know i did you know one quart right now and you know maybe in like uh, an oil change or two year or two, I'll go ahead and, and do another, and that will get it, uh, you know, even better. But it's a lot, lot better. We see a huge difference between what we started with and what we ended up with. Thanks for watching Pathways PV TV.